good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be taking a look at some brand new WWE and AEW action figure reveals to us. Like, we got a ton of stuff going on, man, and it is exciting stuff. You guys know that Comic-Con is actually next weekend, so literally just a week away, I think six or five days away now, from our reveal and it should be really exciting man we got a ton of stuff coming to us very soon AEW figure reveals WWE figure reveals tons of stuff we've been waiting on and been curious about man it is an exciting time to be a collector and I cannot wait to grab it and get into it man so let's go ahead and dive in man some of this stuff is a little bit older but we did have some brand new stuff so I wanted to get it out to you guys see what your thoughts were and just analyze all of it for you so starting out first guys I think the biggest news that kind of hit last week there was kind of two different things that hit but I never made a video on any of it so I figured cram it all into one video and we can all hang out here discuss all the figures and all that stuff so diving in first guys we do have two or actually three ultimate editions the first being the ultimate edition Jeff Hardy figure being leaked out to us now I don't know where these like images actually originated from I don't know if they were from Amazon or, or what, or if they just popped up on the forums, or what it was. I just remember seeing it in a bunch of Facebook groups, and it was insanity. So, as you guys will see, we have the Ultimate Edition Jeff Hardy here, and this is the official, like, images. This is, like, the final product that we're going to be getting. You get the two interchangeable heads, you get the black t-shirt or tank top shirt, you get the WWE Championship interchangeable hands, and a lot of people have been crapping on this figure, but a lot of people have been loving this figure. I need to know what your thoughts are of it down in the comment section below. You guys know that we did have that leaked out prototype image like forever ago remember I covered it multiple times like here on the channel talking about you know I didn't really like the size of the torso looked a little bit jacked in my opinion and I still feel that way I feel like this torso is a bit jacked for Jeff Hardy however we're going to be doing some surgery on it I do have some elite 57 Hardys you could even do an addition where you take the new elite uh, 84 chase or you take the elite 84 regular and you could switch that on there and that would be really cool we're going to play around with that see what we can do see if we can fix it up and see if we can, you know, make a sick AF Jeff Hardy fix-up. But I am probably going to keep one of them regular. I, I want to pick up a few of these. Hopefully, they're not too hard to find and, you know, they're not too hard to, you know, come by and things of that nature. I think the last time the, there was an Amazon, it's like the Rock figure, the Rock Ultimate Edition is like $200. So it's probably not looking too good here, but maybe we can find some deals or something or just get a bunch of pre-orders in as much as possible. Like pl paying like 120 bucks for four of these would be a lot uh, better than paying, you know, $350 for two of them because you got one of them for 30 and the other one skyrocketed to 220 you know what I'm saying? So even though it may suck to buy a bunch at first, it would be worth it in the long run. And I don't even know if they're like halting pre-orders after two or what, but I really want to do fix-ups with it. But the, the head sculpts look fantastic. I really like the screaming head sculpt, especially the black tank top shirt. A lot of people are complaining about the accessories, but at the end of the day, I don't know what else you could have given him, you know? I mean, like, some people were playing around with some different stuff. Maybe some interchangeable arms for different color armbands would have been pretty cool. Maybe ones from uh, the celebration night and then some from the night that he actually won the championship. I don't know. I'm just, just playing around with ideas. You could have switched in some different armband colors or something. But the Jeff Hardy figure looks insanity. Really ha happy for it. I think this necklace looks really good good i like the accessories i'm still gonna be grabbing it you know what i'm saying so i like it the the arm sleeves are a little bit shorter but that is because he they actually took these from the promo shots i'll do my best to plug in the promo shots that this figure is actually based off of and that's the night after he won the championship i do believe so i like the jeff hardy figure you guys can let me know down in the comment section below i am gonna do surgery on it we're gonna try and do some fix-ups and stuff Maybe we can call for some really cool interchangeable stuff in Ultimate Edition kind of kind of jazz that we can get going here. But next up, guys, we also have the Hulk Hogan figure. And the Hulk Hogan Ultimate Edition, a lot of people are crapping on this one as well because he actually has like a molded beard on there when he didn't have a molded beard on there. And a lot of people are upset about that, and I totally understand it. You know, I think it was said that there was a time crunch or something like that. Like they could not get it fixed in time. And a lot of people were saying, well, if you couldn't get it fixed in time, why not just, you know, wait a a little bit you know just just wait a little bit until we can actually get accurate looking things or better heads or whatever so that is the reason you're seeing the repeat heads from the ultimate edition hollywood hulk hogan he does come with a ton of interchangeable hands he gets the cloth shirt here and he gets multiple interchangeable hands compared to jeff hardy he does have pinless arm joints he's got the
the wristbands on there. The figure still looks really good. I know a lot of people are disappointed with it. However, I still like the figure. It's still a good figure. You can still fix it here and there. You do get the black eye head sculpt. And it's still going to be a really nice figure regardless of the inaccuracies and stuff. And it won't be that big a deal. I feel like I could do some surgery and fix it up and change some things if I need to to uh, fix it the way I like it. But I like the Hulk Hogan. You know, they're, they're, again, I'm not the biggest Hogan fan, but I like to see his figures. I like to collect his figures. They're kind of, I don't know. It's kind of a weird thing. Am I a Hogan fan? I, I, I uh. But anyways, the Hulk Hogan figure is still looking good. I don't know which ones. Like, they both have their issues, right? The Jeff Hardy has his issues. The Hulk Hogan has his issues. But at the end of the day, they still look really good. They're going to be very sick in hand. I can't wait to review them. And these are actually going to be going up for pre-order next week, I think, right before Comic-Con. If I'm not mistaken, I may do... Uh, a video on that later on, like all the pre-order information for all the different figures, maybe next week or something like that, which we can dive into, guys, but not only do we have Jeff Hardy and Hulk Hogan, guys, but we also have Ultimate Edition San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, the SDCC exclusive that I actually knew about a month ago or a few weeks back, and they finally revealed it to us. I couldn't say anything at the time, but now, guys, the cat is out of the bag. We are getting a Ultimate Edition G.I. Joe Sergeant Slaughter figure, and this figure is actually pretty sick. I'm not going to lie to you. I think it's pretty dope. I think uh, a lot of people, just like uh, the Macho Man, the Slim Jim Macho Man, it's like uh, the younger collectors want more of a current day figure or not like a too far back Legends figure. And then the older collectors are like really on board with this stuff. And I'm kind of like in the middle where I, li I, I kind of get the best of both worlds here. I really like this figure. I think it's sick. You know, I, would I prefer maybe a more updated or like a figure that I grew up specifically watching from maybe the Attitude Era or the Ruthless Aggression Era? Absolutely. But this is still a really sick figure. Breaking it down, I really like the packaging. I really like what we got going on here. I think this is going to be a really sick figure. I think up next to our, our Mr. T and our Macho Mans for the last couple years is going to be really sick. And I like that it's an Ultimate Edition. I think that that's really cool that they took that extra step to make it feel special. You get a ton of accessories. I love the... like. The outside-the-box thinking of it is really cool. So what they're saying here is your, the regular version is going to be in the light blue style packaging, and then the black is going to be the Chase variant. And you're probably wondering, well, at least I was wondering this. I even tweeted about it. If the figure comes encased in this little, uh, this classic WWE packaging with the Ultimate Edition Sergeant Slaughter on the back and everything like that, if that is sealed by tape, how are you going to know if you got the regular version or the Chase variant version. And actually, it's actually going to be, uh, there's, it's not going to be sealed by tape. So you'll be able to know if you got the Ultimate Edition uh, Chase variant or the regular version. So that's not going to be an issue. I was really worried about that. So apparently, you're going to be able to unbox it, see which one you got, and then you could close it back if you wanted to do that. You know, a lot of people, like the Mr. T, I have a couple of those sealed. And, uh... I mean, the figure could not even be in there. You never know because it's sealed up. I don't know. So I'm going to leave that sealed up. But I guess for this one, I will be opening it up. I want to do a review on this thing really badly. So hopefully I'll be able to get my hands on one. This is going up for pre-order, I think, on July 22nd uh, on MattelCreations.com. Again, we're probably going to do some pre-order information like style video. That way you guys will know all the pre-orders. You can write it down. You can have it right there ready to go and set some timers on your phone so you can go in there and get it. I remember Mr. T being kind of a... A hectic situation trying to get in there and then they finally did some reissue type deals where we could get in there but I like the Sergeant Slaughter I think it looks pretty good man I don't have any issues with it at the end of the day it looks like a pretty sweet figure so we're just gonna have to enjoy what we got and hopefully uh, it'll be just as sick as it looks and then guys we actually had a ton of AEW unmatched figure reveals from my man MBG who did a great job photographing these things for us. so what we're gonna do guys is we're gonna take a look at the full unmatched series one official images so these are the actual official images this isn't any leaked potato images or anything crazy like that man this is actual images from the companies themselves and i think you guys are going to be pretty excited for it. so let's go ahead and get into it man first off guys we do have aew and match series one kenny omega and this figure looks great again the packaging just looks so sick with the black and the silver and the blue and this kenny omega head sculpt looks pretty good i think at the end of the day it is going to be okay uh, it's not perfect by any means. I think they're going to continue to get better. Uh, the attire looks really great. Again, those airbrush gears, you can't really see all the details until they're in figure form. But once they come out in figure form, they look amazing. So I really like it. I think this is a really sick figure. I think the packaging is really sick. And I'm finally excited to see official images, you know, that, that is just great. Moving right along, guys, we also have Dustin Rhodes from this set, which is a really underrated figure in the set. He comes with interchangeable heads, interchangeable hands. He looks really good. The blue and black looks great with the, like, details 
my uh, I think this this version is definitely better than his series 2 version and his blood brothers version which mine like snapped the leg off if you guys remember that but the gloves look good the head sculpts look really good the Dustin Rhodes figure is really sweet so I'm I'm all on board on the Dustin Rhodes I like this one better than his first version and again he looks really good in packaging because he matches the packaging so that's really sick next up guys we do have Miro now again we've seen this one multiple times so I'm not going to spend a ton of time on it but seeing the official images one thing I will say is I feel like his shorts are a little too long and I feel like some hair on his chest and stomach would have done wonders for this figure maybe that's something we could do on surgery I don't know how we could switch you know to make the shorts shorter however the uh, torso maybe add some penciled in or a decal or something like that to make it stand out a little bit more but the Miro figure is looking fire we also have Dr. Britt Baker we have both versions here we have the regular version and then we have the chase variant version which is actually going to be the one of 3000 version which is in the Steelers gear now I'm going to be honest with you the Steelers gear looks better in my opinion but you can't even see it underneath her jacket in these images which kind of sucks however the Pittsburgh Steelers gear is sick we already saw what it looked like and everything like that but you do have her black and silver regular version and then you have her Pittsburgh Steelers version which of course I will be going after the Pittsburgh version at the end of the day but both of the versions look really sick and then a figure that kind of got dropped on us surprisingly guys like I didn't even know this was even going to be a thing but we have two different versions of the Unmatched Series 1 Darby Allen so we have the regular version which is the one we've seen with the TNT Championship the skateboard the really sick Darby Allen like really really sick Darby Allen figure he's got the jacket he's got all his tattoos on there he's got the face paint he's got the TNT title he's got the skateboard I mean the dude looks absolutely incredible TNT championship is clearly oversized but the one of 5,000 chase in this set is a Darby Allen that has a cloth tank top on it and how sick is this figure right here man what in the blue hell we didn't even know about this thing we didn't even know about this thing like I had no leaks about it I didn't know anything about this Darby Allen figure and they're just gonna drop a chase Darby Allen on us with a sick head sculpt and the and the cloth tank top how freaking sick is that and uh, I don't think this is going to stain anything because it's not black, it's not blue, it's not some random color. It's skin tone color, so it shouldn't be any problems. Like, if you wanted to put that on any figure you wanted, it is the Chase variant, though. So, like, are you even going to open it if you find one? I'd love to find one of each. You know, like, I'd like a mock version and a loose version. Don't know if that's going to be the case, but the Darby Allen looks super sick. One thing that came to my mind is putting this shirt on, like, a Brody Lee or a Luke Harper or something like that. But uh, maybe somebody else. But the Darby Allen Chase figure looks insanity. Can't believe we didn't even know about that one. And the last figure in the set, guys, is going to be the LJ and Cody. So I guess the red version of this isn't real, or it's going to be a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, or I don't, I don't know, because you guys know that we did take a look at a Cody that was in red. And this is the blue version, which we've already seen mock, but the clean, nice images do look really good. Um, I don't even know if I'll take this. I, I don't even know if I'll remove that out of the packaging, like when we do our review. I probably will. I'll probably, yeah, again, try to get, you know, one loose, one mock. That way, you know, I can review one for you guys and then also uh, keep one in the packaging for myself. So, I don't know, man. Tons of stuff coming out. SDCC week, it's, it's so crazy. It's absolutely insanity. I know we're going to get a ton of reveals that are going to make me lose my mind and my wallet. And that's exciting, but also kind of like, eh. You know, you got you got to pre-order all the stuff, and then you, as soon as they reveal the stuff to you, they put that up for pre-order, and then you got to make separate orders. And it's just a whole thing, but it should be an exciting time because we're getting new figures that look absolutely incredible. And this is like the golden era of collecting. So let me know what you think of all the Ultimate Editions, the Unmatched series, all of those different things, man. I would love to know what your opinions are on all of it down in the comment section below, guys. But I'm I'm getting out of here, man. I think that's all the, the news I wanted to talk about because we had so many images and stuff. I had to break it down to you guys, see what you guys thought and everything. And again, five or six days away, we will have more images for you. And it's going to be all brand new stuff, all leaked out stuff, all just the, the new stuff we're going to be getting this year and on into next year. And uh, I need to go back and watch last year's SDCC reveals and just kind of see and gauge how that went, and then uh, kind of prep my mind for what we should get this year. And then the next year, hopefully I'll be there in person to report on everything, and it should be really fun, and the MDT mic or something like that. We're going to get that going, but thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my name, Toys. My dog's getting upset, and uh, I'm going to leave before I cross the line.